July 27, 2023, a tweet from Hans Christensen revealed that satellite imagery had exposed a newly constructed garage facility suspected of housing the Iskandarian missile launchers received from Russia, which are allegedly capable of carrying nuclear warheads. The satellite image captured on July 4, 2023, showed four 13 meter Iskandar launchers, and all transporters, and two smaller support vehicles positioned outside the garage. Notably, one of the launcher's missile storage compartments was observed to be open in the image. This development comes at a time of escalating tensions between Russia, Belarus, and NATO countries like Finland and Poland. In response to Finland joining NATO officially, Russia announced on the same day that it had provided its Condor M missile systems to Belarus. In reaction to the presence of Wagner mercenary fighters in Belarus, who are aligned with Russia, Poland has taken steps to relocate some of its military units closer to the Belarusian border. This move is in the context of increasing military activities and geopolitical pressure. In a televised Security Council meeting, Russian President Vladimir Putin issued a strong warning, stating that any aggression against Belarus would be regarded as an attack on Russia and would lead to significant consequences. The newly constructed garage facility is located at the Assyrian military base in central Belarus, which is home to the 465th missile brigade. Construction of the facility began in October 2022 and was completed in April 2023. The strategic location of the facility is noteworthy, as it is only 7 kilometers away from the training ground where the Iskander launchers were initially spotted. Additionally, it is within a 12 kilometer radius of a suspected weapons depot, raising speculation about the possibility of it being used as a temporary nuclear warhead storage site. Reports suggest that Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko and Russian President Vladimir Putin have previously discussed plans to enable Belarusian Iskander launchers to launch Russian nuclear tipped missiles. There were also talks about establishing a nuclear storage facility in Belarus and upgrading some Belarusian military jets, like the Su-24 or Su-25, to carry nuclear bombs. If these plans were to be realized, it would mark a significant development, as it would be the first instance since the Cold War of Russia providing another country with nuclear military capabilities. This move has raised concerns and all comparisons, given Russia's criticism of US nuclear sharing arrangements with NATO allies. Despite the satellite imagery revelations, there has been no visual confirmation of the alleged plans, and intelligence reports from Western sources have not verified the deployment of nuclear warheads in Belarus by Russia. Currently, it is believed that Russia stores its non-strategic nuclear warheads in centralized facilities within its own territory. The 9K720 Iskander, NATO reporting name, SS-26 Stone, is a mobile short-range ballistic missile system produced and deployed by the Russian military. It travels at a terminal hypersonic speed of 2,100 to 2,600 meters per second, max 6 to 7, and can reach an altitude of 50 kilometers with a range of up to 500 kilometers. The missile system was designed to replace the OTR-21 Cocker system in the Russian military. The Iskander can be equipped with various conventional warheads, including cluster munitions, fuel air explosive enhanced blast warheads, high explosive fragmentation warheads, earth penetrators for bunker busting, electromagnetic pulse devices for anti radar missions, and nuclear warheads. In September 2017, it was mentioned that there are at least seven types of missiles, including cruise missiles, available for Iskander. The Iskander system is equipped with two solid propellant single stage. Platform's mobility makes it difficult to prevent launches. Targets can be located using satellite imagery, aircraft, conventional intelligence centers, artillery observers, or aerial photos scanned into a computer. The missiles can be retargeted during flight for engaging mobile targets. This Condor MS unique feature is the optically guided warning, which can also be controlled by encrypted radio transmission, including from AWACS or UAV. The missile's onboard computer receives images of the target, locks onto it with its sight, and descends toward it at supersonic speed. The missile's boost phase thrust vector control TBC, is achieved by graphite veins, similar to the layout of the 2 and Scud series active ballistic missiles. There are rumors that the missile follows a quasi-ballistic path, performs evasive maneuvers in a terminal phase of flight, and releases deploys to penetrate missile defense systems. The missile remains in the atmosphere and follows a relatively flat trajectory, controlled throughout the whole flight with gas dynamic and aerodynamic control surfaces, including small fins to reduce its radar signature. The Russian is 
Chondrem travels at a hypersonic speed of 2,100 to 2,600 meters per second, max 6 to 7, and an altitude of 50 kilometers. It weighs 4,615 kilograms, carries a warmth of 710 to 800 kilograms, and has a range of 500 kilometers, achieving a circular error probable CEP, of 5 to 7 meters, when coupled with optical homing K, 30 to 70 mm with autonomous application. The Esconda is designed as a tactical missile system for use in theater-level conflicts. It can use conventional or thermonuclear weapon warheads to engage small and area targets, such as hostile fire weapons, air and anti-missile defenses, command posts, communications nodes, and troops in concentration areas, among others. The missile's area of destruction from a single warhead is claimed to be 25,000 square meters, and its accuracy allows it to hit targets the size of a small window several tens of kilometers away. In 2007, a new missile for the system was tested, the R-500 cruise missile, with a range of up to 2,000 kilometers or more. 